let's talk about responsiveness and if you're not familiar with what this means it simply refers to how your website would look like when it's viewed on a mobile device so we're talking about tablets uh, mobile phones and this is very very important because a lot more people now serve the internet on the mobile devices so if they come to your site and your site doesn't look good on the mobile device well you could lose out on potential customers traffic and so on so you want to make sure your website looks good across all different screen sizes so right now as it is this is the regular uh, desktop mode for my website notice that we do have the regular menu up here and uh, the services section has two columns the portfolio section has three columns but now if i begin to reduce the screen size notice that now services is now a uh, one column same with portfolio and the menu is now what we call the uh, hamburger menu so ideally you want to make sure that your website is adaptable to different screen sizes now with CSS Hero we do have access to four different screen sizes that we can work with I'm going to turn the plugin on so let's wait for a few seconds and voila all right so this is the regular desktop mode but right here you will see the four different screen sizes that you can work with. So you do have what would be the tablet when viewed on a landscape mode, max width of 1024 pixels. You do have the tablet on the portrait mode, max width of 768 pixels. You would have your mobile phone, landscape mode of 568 pixels. And then finally, the smaller screen size, the mobile phone when viewed on a portrait mode, max width of 320 pixels pixels so you could click on any one of these and then automatically CSS Hero will now show your website as it will be viewed on that particular device uh, let's go with the portrait mode so this is exactly how my website will look like when viewed on portrait mode on a tablet let's go all the way to the smaller screen size and well there you go this is exactly how it would look like when viewed on a mobile phone and you can see I do have to make some adjustments right here if I need to if I want to make it more presentable uh, when viewed on a phone however one interesting thing you should be aware of is that whenever you make a change at a particular screen size that change will cut across every other screen size smaller than that particular one so as an example I have chosen the tablet viewed at a portrait mode of 760 pixels so if i changed who we are text right here let's go with uh typography let me just change the color from black to something reddish and i clicked ok if i now switch over to the mobile device on a landscape mode who we are is now in red as well and of course on the small screen size who we are is still red remember that we apply this change at the tablet uh, uh, screen size of 768 pixels however if I switch to the landscape mode for the tablet which is at 1024 pixels who we are is back to black so again keep this in mind whenever you apply a design change at a particular screen size Every other screen size smaller than that size will also be affected while those bigger than that screen size will not be affected. One other thing that you point out here is that if you wanted to make a change specifically for the desktop, what you can do is, okay, we can click on who we are. And right here, if I wanted to make uh, who we are much bigger only for the desktop because of course when you make changes to the desktop mode it will affect every other uh, screen size because every other screen size is smaller so if you wanted to make something very very specific for desktop mode uh, let me just change the, the font size here to uh, something ridiculous let's go with uh ooh, let's go with 70 pixels as an example right here you will now see where we have the three buttons if i click desktop only now this will be applied only to the desktop screen size notice that if i go back to the uh, tablet mode on landscape who we are is still the regular size there of uh, 44 pixels and so on and so forth but if i go back to the desktop mode you can see it's now been shown at 70 pixels so that's 
are one other thing you should be aware of. So this is exactly how to apply responsive styling to your website with the CSS Hero plugin. Do spend some time today to ensure that your website looks good across all devices.